Hello everyone, Yunus here with Arc Automation Consulting. Uh, welcome back to the, uh, another video series. Um, this time we're uh, going to discover, um, as the title suggests, uh, how we can uh, make an Alan Bradley PLC uh, such as control logics or uh, compact logics act as an MQTT uh, client. So with no uh, further delays, uh, let's start. So the first thing I want to uh, touch base on is um, the MQTT uh, broker that I am using. Uh, now if uh, if you're not that familiar with the, the MQTT protocol and how it all works, uh, perhaps you could uh, check it out here under mqtt.org, which uh, the organization that basically look after this protocol. So, in their website here, there is uh, really lots of good information on how it works and uh, and all that and the specifications and the typical applications and, and why not. So that's just uh, quickly there. Now, uh, what I am using as a broker, I'm using the Chariot. Um, again, this uh, MQTT broker, uh, you can go and download it from their website. Uh, there's a uh, you know, few uh, options that you can uh, pick from when it comes to uh, an MQTT broker, like this one here from the Chariot. Um, it's it's uh, it's uh, uh, like when you download it, like what I'm doing right now. Uh, you'll be running on trial uh, license uh, if you don't purchase a license yet, and it gives you basically two hours to do your testing purposes and why not. Uh, the one thing I like about this one, it it has this uh, web interface, so I can see, you know, my basically clients uh, in here, login, you know, some few other things. We're going to touch up on a couple things here as we go through the uh, the uh, the demonstration. Um, but I, will, I don't want to focus too much on, on this as it is not uh, uh, really the scope of this uh, video, uh, but rather we want to focus more on the uh, Alan Brady PLC and how we can make it act as an MQTT client. So what I have uh, you know put together here recently it's uh, essentially a library that will uh, allow us uh, of add instructions uh, as you will see here. So we have uh, about six add instructions um, that will allow us to do various uh, tasks when it comes to MQTT, um, so and it's very uh, you know very uh, light, very small uh, library as we can see here. Like the size of these EOIs, it's not uh, that big. It, they're really small, uh, as you can see here the sizes. Um, and in this first video, what we are going to focus on uh, first is how we can make that connection to our uh, SQL, uh, or oh, sorry, to our uh, MQTT uh, uh, broker uh, or server uh, successfully and how all that works and how we can monitor our uh, connections once it's established and how we can disconnect if we are already connected uh, and, and so forth and then see how that uh, interaction between the PLC and the MQTT broker. Uh, so what I have here is this uh, routine here, which is the MQTT connect, monitor, disconnect. So I have it here uh, in few uh, sections, uh, I believe about six sections. Um, and it's very, uh, yeah, six, six sections as we can see. Uh, and it's basically 12 rungs. So this first one here, this first section that we are seeing here, this is uh, really this this rung 
it's only basically used to um, you know clear our communications channels uh, so if we want to recover or there's something going on or as we download our PLC like here in the first scan it will clear all those channels so we can start fresh every time so that's really the purpose of this uh, of this uh, rung in here now as we move forward uh, to the next rung now this next rung here uh, it help us to establish the communication when there is problems so if we lose the communication to our MQTT server or there is some other that we can for example ping it and so forth then this uh, routine this couple of routines here these two will help us uh, recover from that uh, issue and then reconnect automatically so that's really what these two ranks does and then as we go to rank three that's where we have our uh, MQTT uh, connect add on structure now if you're um, you know familiar with with my channel and, and some of the stuff I have published already and, and why not um, you might uh, see some similarities in here between you know this uh, library and the uh, other library that I put together which is uh, for uh, to connect to uh, an SQL uh, server and interact with SQL so you, you probably notice um, you know few similarities uh, in there and then as we go down here we have here this add on instruction and this one it allow us to basically disconnect from our MQTT uh, uh, server and then as we go so we just have couple these couple rungs that serve us to basically um, capture if we have any communication uh, error or if we have an MQTT uh, error which we're gonna see in a in a little bit here as we do the demonstration now uh, as we get to section section four once we establish our connection here with this bit then we will uh, also uh, trigger this uh, add-on instruction which is another connect so we can monitor uh, our uh, connection above and what we do with this with this connection here uh, is we use uh, this again we have the disconnect similar to the, the first one and the couple uh, counters but what we will do here in this section 6 this is where we would uh, monitor uh, our communication to the MQTT server so how are we accomplishing that is by using this uh, MQTT ping uh, add-on instruction so this one it will ping and then if there's a good response then everything is good then this uh, com healthy will become latched if there's something wrong then it will latch to tell us that we lost communication to our server and we're going to demonstrate uh, all of that so i just want to touch up uh, basically on all these uh, sections um, and what they do and what's the purpose so you have a, a good idea on what's going on so the first thing I'm going to touch on is uh, what do we need to set up our, um, you know, uh, add on instruction to connect to our uh, MQTT server. Uh, so if I open this up, you will see here uh, we have the MQTT connect configuration. So we're going to open that up. So what do we need to specify here? So these are the parameters that we need to specify in here. So the first one is the IP address uh, where the MQTT server resides and the port number. So I'm using the 1883 port, which is the default port for your MQTT server. And then we also would need a username and a password. And then uh, we would also uh, need an MQTT uh, client uh, ID. Uh, that's, you know, that the broker will you're gonna use to identify this uh, this connection so that's about the the settings we need to um, basically do in there now there are some settings that are already um, configured for you so for example the requirement for the user name and password uh, it's not optional so in other words you have to you have to specify a 
username and password for this to work. Uh, also, we uh, picked, for example, the settings for a clean session. Uh, it's set up to one. So every time the, the PLC make an, a connection to the MQTT broker, it's going to start fresh with that connection. And as long as that connection is open, uh, then that's that's fine. If that collection is got lost or whatever, then we will just, you know, close it, forget about it, and then we'll start fresh. That way we're not hogging to any resources and so forth from the PLC uh, standpoint. Uh, so uh, a couple things uh, like that. And uh, uh, for, for example, the, the keep alive uh, timer, it's, uh, it's set up to zero. Um, in inside here in the add instruction, so that's the default. That's what it's set to. Uh, so, but however, we are monitoring our um, connection using the the ping. So that way, if you you know if you want to use the ping uh, on some sort of interval like what you're using here on ten, every ten seconds, it's going to send you know that packet to say, hey, are you alive? And then if we get the response, we're we're good. Uh, or if you don't want to use the ping and you just you know you know that you're gonna have lots of traffic going back and forth uh, between your uh, communication and there is not really any quiet time, then you perhaps don't have to use the ping if you don't uh, add instruction if you don't want to. All right, so those are basically the the main settings that we need to do in here. So now uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna trigger this. And as soon as we will trigger this, we will notice that we're going to have two connections in our uh, established in our uh, MQTT broker. Now, the reason for that is the first connection is for our PLC to communicate with the broker. And then the second connection, which we have here, is to monitor that connection that we established. Now, as you will see here, we have uh, this one is called MQTT my PLC and then this one is called uh, monitor MQTT okay so that's those are the names that we're going to see in the MQTT broker so now if I toggle this so let me just put this aside like this so I can show you uh, the two uh, side to side and uh, live so I'm just gonna minimize this a little bit. So now if I go and say, okay, connect my broker, you see, we immediately connected and we, you see here that we have now two connection, monitor MQTT, MQTT my PLC, and here is the same IP address, we're just having two connection uh, established. Now, the uh, just to show you here, you know, just for fun, I'm gonna change the name of this guy here and say, you know, this is MQTT my um, compact logics, for example. And then I'm going to reconnect again. I'm going to disconnect. So as soon as I untoggle this, we're going to see that we're going to trigger this disconnect and we're going to see that the, these clients will be back to zero. So let's untoggle this. So here we go, we disconnected, and you can see immediately this went to zero so that's mean we disconnected from the broker now let me connect this back okay so we connected back in here and we can see immediately we have two and here's that name i specified mqtt my compact logic so i just specified the plc and that's what you're going to be identified with with this uh, connection uh, now if we keep uh, scrolling down here we can see uh, that uh, our communication here it's also um, it's also good and we can you know confirm it here uh, but also we can see that our calm uh, become healthy in here and we can see that this is going every 10 seconds it sent that packet now just for fun let's well, I'm gonna force the disconnection from the uh, from the uh, the server side and see what will happen and how this is going to be reported in the PLC by losing the statuses and then it's going to recover uh, automatically. So let me disconnect this guy 
and then this guy so I just disconnected here now the PLC here see immediately says oh you have problem and the you lost the calm health so I can't talk and then again it just recover and then it connects me back so it's just as simple as that without uh, me touching anything um, and of course uh, you know as long as this is uh, toggled that's mean we're telling the PLC hey uh, if you lose communication keep trying to connect to the broker and when that is okay then connect us back uh, so and we can see uh, in here that we are uh, connected and, and the calm is back and healthy and everything is good and now we can build in on this connection to do uh, you know the uh, publishing and the uh, the subscribing uh, so that's uh, briefly uh, for the connection to the broker a little bit high level on the how the uh, library uh, what's it what's in the library uh, and uh, you know just really high high level on how the uh, we can make uh, the connection in the next video we are going to touch on how we can subscribe to our MQTT server now that we are uh, connected to that uh, broker so stay tuned and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching